<laughs> Little necky heel down the right side, not the ideal opening tee shot. Ball way above the feet, a little loft on there, and you see the heels hovering over the bunker, so trying hard not to drag this one left. I think he's made a pretty good fist of it, he sure has. What a shot. Just under 20 feet or so, but it really only played three or four. So pure is the roll around here. Hovland. Just from the first cut of rough. 254 yards in total. Thought it all the way into the heart of the green. Aggressive swing, Hovland. Really does attack the ball. And he doesn't have to worry much about the pace of that putt once it gets onto the downslope. Right to left, and then it wants to come back ever so gently the other way for an Eagle 3. He'll love these conditions. Living in Oklahoma. Going to university in Oklahoma. He likes the wind. He's the full pick package, this kid. Been fortunate to drag a good lie off, off hard pan back into the draft, a stiff draft at that 211. Oh, very different hole from this morning. Now up the hill for Victor Hovland. That's just as pure as they come. Great camera work, camera work from the ground, watching that ball run so smoothly up the green. Victor Hovland at four. Very difficult flag to get at this par three, 207 yards. And the right's better than left. It's okay, they've been on this, this left terrace there, it's like a little parcel shelf on the back of your car. We got a great view of it, or we did have, <laughs> that we we're going to see at Trundle. Oh, yeah, wow, that's it. It's like a fair round ride, this one. One of yours, Ken. Lovely. He'll expect, with the wind out of the left, to hit this within there, within 10 feet, maybe closer. A little from right to left, straight off the blade. And then I feel it wants to straighten, so a difficult one to read. Yes. Nice. It is another birdie for Victor Hovland. So he moves to three under par. If it comes out too hot, it could find itself on the back edge. And with a pin on the front here, it's actually quite a tricky pin because there's not a lot of room to feed one up there and onto that green. It's either going to throw it off to the left or throw it off to the right. Yeah, it's like a little hog's back. There is about oh, eight, ten yards that's flat and it tips it off either way. Third shot at the par five. Well, this kid has improved his, his takeaway with these wedges in and around the greens. It's for birdie, for an up and down from the sand to the front plateau at seven for Victor Hovland. And he joins the 35 that went before him making birdie. Get your attention, it's an intimidating tee shot if you go for the flag, dangerous. The fortunate stats agree with you, Kent. Deadly, the eighth. Hovland didn't get the memo. What a Fabulous tee shot. This is out of his right. And what usually happens when your caddy gets sick and can't have a week with you, the player usually goes and wins and you don't get the 10%. Don't you hate that? <laughs> yeah, it happens quite often as well. Tonight, Holland. 
Driver, wind down slightly out of the right. Sneaky long for a little fella, isn't he? Well, he's not so little. Just a gap wedge. Look out the rest of the field. This guy's on his game. He's been rolling his egg pretty nicely today, so he'll fancy this one. Nothing fancy about it at all. Just a mid wedge, the flag over there on the right should be a gift for him. Nine, ten. This putt's exactly the same as the one he faced on nine, and he just missed it ever so gently to the left. That with a driving iron, Jizzy sets up nicely, a good strong grip. A three knuckler. This thing's got some height, and geez, it's a pretty looking thing to the heart of it. That's a pure strike. Hammer down on that. 100% connection. And this is for Eagle for Victor Hovland. And that's the thing with a lot of those Eagle parts. Hovland wants to see the back of that. It's going to be his first drop shot of the day. Yeah, unforced error there really, wasn't it? Fine position off the tee, but he, he fell into the trap of that hollow shot online. More oh, likely right over the top of the flagstick. Good shot from Hovland. Putter has just sort of misbehaved a wee bit, so he's overdue. Doesn't want to move a whole lot. Victor Hovland not quite so fortunate as Tommy Fleetwood, having pulled his tee shot at 14 as well. Doesn't take long to read that lie. Seven letters, terrible. Well, then I'd have to count the letters to work him out with a number there. That was a that was a cracking shot, wasn't it? This being down, it might just help the cause. It doesn't really need to worry about the pace. his hands a little higher to eliminate that heel digging in. Shouldn't be an issue. Not with this boy's game. It's just going to trickle its way back down to the familiar spot. Yes, massive greens, but small landing spots. Need to give this a little wrap. So easy when you give it a wrap to knock it four past. We've seen that more than once. But not this time. Finds the speed shoot down that left hand side. Victor Hovland. But one perhaps a little bit more expected than the other. And you could throw a blanket over those three. Well, one's going to learn from the other, it's going to learn from the other. Maybe a good time to go last. 
seen the lane, he's seen the pace. And he's learned quite beautifully. It was a good sign to leave yourself. And it's a smiling Victor Hovland as he joins Kanaya. Worse places to be than that. Back foot. He is much improved with this shot. It was a bit like Edward Scissorhands when he first came out, but now uh, he's lethal. Lethal. Just give it to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, yeah. Given it was. That's the shot of a very confident player. It's <laughs> one way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, it was such a brave second. <laughs> <laughs> it was a delightful third as well. And a wonderful start to the week for the Norwegian, who's been in such great form recently. And that is an opening 64. So eight under par, just one behind our leader, Scott Jamieson. The fine play continues. Well, Victor, there was mention of some jet lag earlier in the week, but certainly no signs of it out there today. You must be delighted to get out the blocks like that. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, I didn't hit the best of shots early on, but I managed to, to get away with it and, and uh, hold a bunch of putts today. So that uh, certainly woke me up from uh, the jet lag. Give us a flavour of the preparation. Obviously, this is a new venue for the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship that helped you produce a, a, a performance like that. Yeah, there are some tricky pins out there, and obviously the greens are uh, very severe. Um, yeah, I don't know, this, uh, this grass, I just feel really comfortable putting on the, on the past Palom grass, and um, I read the greens perfectly and, and just started on my line, and, you know, this is the day where those putts go in, and uh, I was able to take advantage of it. The forecast tomorrow, it's particularly, well, throughout the day, actually, going to be gusting the wind a lot stronger. How conscious were you of that out there in terms of pr producing a low one today? Yeah, I mean, you just got to, you know, play the best you can. Uh, you can't really control what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, so, um, you know, it's it's easy to force, um, you know, maybe a couple birdies here and there, but you got to be very disciplined because there are some tricky pins and you get a little greedy and you miss on the wrong sides and you just don't have a shot. So even though it's important to get a low one today, um, you know, big thing was was uh, only making one bogey today. That was that was good. And just finally, talk us through your strategy on 18. There was some very brave play mm. going on out there. That second shot, signs of a confident golfer coming in there. Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't quite sure what the layup number was, so I just figured I'll, I'll just pull a three wood and, and uh, hit it straight out of the green. Uh, no, I, uh, I did the same thing yesterday late in the Pro-Am and I hit it in the water, so uh, I aimed it a bit further right this time and I still hit it a little off the toe, but it was, uh, it was uh, good enough. Very good start, Victor. Well done. Thanks. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.